in this problem we've got three unit circles with centers at A, B and C. And they're set up such that A and B just touch on the circumference and C is positioned above them so that it intersects at this point where A and B touch. We need to find the blue area. In order to solve this problem, we're going to look at the areas of the overlapping parts of our circles. So I'm going to call the points where A and B touch P. And we can see that the line CP, which is the radius of the top circle, must meet AB at a right angle because it is coming down. It's a tangent to the circles at A and B at that point. And as PC is a radius, this must be a right angle. We can then add the line from B up to the point Q, which is where the circles of B and C intersect in the top right. This is also going to be a right angle because we can see that we've got PB is one centimeter. CQ is also a radius, so that must be one centimeter. We've got the right angle at CPB. So this must be making a square of sides one centimeter. So we've got a right angle there as well. So if we use the sector that has been created by this part, we can find its area because it's just a quarter of a unit circle. So the area is going to be a quarter times pi times the square of the radius, one squared. So the area of the sector is pi over four. If we add in the straight line from P to Q as such, we can see we've created a right angle triangle BPQ. We can work out the area of this nice and easily because it's got a base of one centimeter. It's got a height, which is also a radius, so also one centimeter. So the area of that triangle is going to be a half times one times one, which is a half. Now we found the sector and the triangle. We can use these to work out the area of the segment that's created by the chord PQ and the circumference of the circle. Well, that just must be the sector minus the triangle. So pi over four minus one half. Now we've got the area of this segment, we can quickly see that we've got further segments that due to the symmetry of our setup and all the circles being of the same radius, these must all be the same size. So our first segment, if we call this one, we've got segment number two, again, the same size. And on the left, we've got segment three and four. These are all the same size. So the area of our blue area must be the area of circle C minus these four segments. Well, the area of the circle, pi r squared, with a radius of one, and we've worked out the area of the segments already, that's pi over four minus a half. So our area is pi times one squared minus four lots of pi over four minus a half. Well, pi times one squared is just pi. Expanding that bracket, we would get minus pi plus two, giving us a final answer of two square centimetres. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.